up until age four, the most important thing a child needs is unconditional love. You're loved no matter what, you're loved no matter what. You would think that would go till 18. Now, of course it's important, but you know what's really interesting? After four, they don't measure that as the most important thing anymore. They found that the most important thing is just meaning and purpose. The parent has never articulated to them, why are you here? Besides just the like, whatever identity things. And we tell our kids all the time, you are here because we are a family team and we had a gap in our team that God decided to fill and we could not go do our mission if you weren't on this team. Would the Warriors be the Warriors without Steph Curry? No. Would they be the Warriors without Draymond Green? No. So team roles, super important, integrated for one collective mission. I think there would be a lot more blessing and goodness and love and beauty in the world if more families kind of left the consumer mindset and kind of the safety is the most important thing to actually, hey, we have a purpose together that we can only do together, not individually, and we need to rally to do that. Do me a favor and watch this video. Women's rights, but we can't define what a woman is, but also men can be women and no uterus, no opinion, but also men can get pregnant. This type of logic is the result of the concept of individualism gone awry. We have gone so far down the road of supporting the sacredness of the individual that cognitive dissonance has become the rule rather than exception because people's identity can be based on anything they feel at any given moment. So what's the alternative? We need to return to a certain amount of collectivism where there are agreed upon social norms in society. Now I'm becoming less convinced these social norms will come about via civil dialogue. It's going to require something worse than that. Something which involves one group imposing its will over other groups. So the question is this, you obviously have an opinion on how the world should work. What are you willing to do to make sure that your opinion is the winning side? Indian position of like, well, we're all individuals and taxation is, is wrong and collectivism is wrong. Yeah, but the only reason that today 99% of people are literate is because of public education, which is directly funded by taxation and which is a collectivist endeavor. School is a collective institution. And its function is collectivist. The reason we have schools, the reason people are made literate is because that's helpful to the entire community that we're a part of. When our community is made up of a bunch of illiterate morons who can't add one plus one together or who can't read a basic book, we all suffer for that. This is fundamentally what many libertarians don't understand because they're so bought into this philosophy of individualism that they, that they, they treat individualism as an absolute good and they treat communalism as an absolute bad or collectivism as an absolute bad. This is, this is so misguided. It's so dysfunctional. It's so unhealthy for you because it, it makes you um, like a cancer within your own community. We humans are a highly social communal species. We can only survive as a community. There was never a time in human history, not even a million years ago, where there weren't even barely humans but there were our ape ancestors. There, even back then, individual apes didn't survive, only in a community. Go look at how chimpanzees survive, only in a community. There's not a lot of individual rights and freedoms in a chimpanzee troop. There's actually order and hierarchy, precisely because it's necessary. There's certain implicit rules that need to be followed, certain laws, if you will, which make that troop function. It's a communal endeavor. So it's very important that you start to acknowledge that to yourself, that you're part of a community. And this community, it has its pros and cons. Stop looking at a community as just all the negative stuff. That's, I think, what a lot of libertarians and um, some conservatives who are very sort of like individualistic minded, they, t they tend to forget how much benefit the community gives them what it allows that couldn't otherwise be possible. And also there's, there's a joy to being part of a community. A community gives you a sense of a larger meaning. You could, you know, there's something you can work towards. There's a, perhaps a sense of national pride, although that's problematic, that gets us into nationalism. Uh, there, there can be tribal pride, of course, that gets us into tribalism, but, uh, but still there, there's a healthy form of national pride that you can have. You can have a pride in humanity. You can, you can, you know, have a career that you work towards, you know, helping mankind to achieve a certain goal. Um, we can work together towards amazing things. Something right. 
one of the things we're doing right, for example, is that we actually value the individual, right? The individual has intrinsic value in Western societies. Do you know how long it took people to formulate that as an idea? And how unlikely that idea is that poor you, you know, useless, powerless you, with all your damn faults, you're actually worth something. You're worth something to the point that the law has to respect you. God, we don't want to abandon that for some half-witted collectivism, which we're doing as rapidly as possible, because one of the things that characterizes the radical left types is they don't give a damn about you as an individual or about individuals at all. You're black or you're white or you're Latino or you're transsexual or you're homosexual or whatever. You're a group. You're a member of a group. And the only thing that matters is the group. Well, I can tell you, if the only thing that matters is the group, you bloody well don't matter very much. And then you've got to ask yourself just exactly what sort of people are trying to set things up so it is that the individual doesn't matter very much. Son of a... Gachi! Não gasta aqui.